So I'm sailing from Martinique to Dominica today and it's been a really exciting passage. We had, and when I say we, I always of course mean myself, the boat and Charles Vane who's doing an excellent job as always. So we uh, have had an excellent sail. It started off without much wind, did quite a bit of motoring, then the wind has filled in from the southeast which has given me an opportunity to fly the cruising chute for the first time since crossing the Atlantic. Let me give you a brief run through of the lines that are attached to the cruising chute. Now like any sail it's got three sides and on all sails each side has a special name. The head, the tack and the clue. So on this cruising chute the head is hoisted by the halyard inside a furling uh, snapper or a, a sock and what that does is and basically wraps the spinnaker inside a, basically a large fabric sausage and that allows you to get it into the air without it filling, filling prematurely so it allows a nice controlled hoist and then when you're ready you can raise or lower the sock using this black and white one here. So that's connected to the sock and when it's time for me to lower it again I'll pull down on that black and white and the snuffer sock will descend and wrap this kite back up. I can then lower the halyard and the whole thing will fall back down onto the deck. Now the second part of the sail, here it's even written there, is the tack. Now the tack uh, is a tricky attachment on this boat because usually you have a bowsprit out here which allows the tack to get right down beyond the front of the boat. Not possible on a Nicholson 35 although some boats have had modifications to build a bowsprit. In this case, I'm repurposing the bow roller through the use of some blocks uh, and a shackle. See that there? So connected with a soft shackle down through the turning block and back to this cleat. A lot of people would take that line all the way to the back of the boat. The reason for that is that they can then adjust the height of the tack uh, from back in the cockpit. Again, I don't really have a clear run back to the cockpit. It's not impossible, but the job is done well here. And if needed, I can, I can easily sweat it. If you look, I can bring it down just by pulling on it here. So if I need to, I can depower the sail and adjust the tack. It's a bit of a bodge, but it gets the job done. The third line attached to this sail is a regular sheet. Now it's a sheet just like the sheet attached to the Genoa, and again it's brought back to the cockpit through a series of blocks that are then attached to a secondary winch. And that allows me to let out or tighten in uh, this clue of the sail depending on the point of, 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 of sail and the direction that the wind is coming from behind.
a whale. It's a whale. That whale was maybe 20, 30 meters away from the boat. Incredible. Now some people might consider me to be a, uh, a bit of a patriot to the red, white and blue, be that the US or the UK or even Australia. Uh, and they'd be right because this boat has an excessive amount of red and blue lines on board. Red and blue for the first and second reef, red for the jib, red for the spinnaker, blue for the main sheet. Even the hydrovane control line is blue. I did try when the boat got uh, inspected, got a rig check in Plymouth and they swapped these reefs out for me. They said, what color do you want? I said, you know, let's, let's, let's let's go yellow and, and, and black or green. They said, sorry, all we've got is red and blue. So I think that was really successful. I got the uh, spinnaker down really easily. Now I've got the jib out again and I'm on a run straight into Dominican capital city, Rousseau. This has been a really good sale. Trade winds typically blow from the east, but for several days they blew from the south and the southwest, straight into the protected anchorages, right up the Caribbean chain. Many boats were thrown into disarray, including this Dufour. Try. Thank you. 
It was heartbreaking to see these boats aground and I really hope they'll be refloated again soon. But for now, it was time to trust my boat's anchor chain and enjoy the sights of Dominica.